Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this of course is Morris Goes to Oblivion, and you know what? I don't actually remember what number this is. Anyway, I will turn it over to Morris the High Elf, who can continue his tour through the cherry red depths of Oblivion. Yes, well thank you. You could at least have tried to remember the number. You know, sometimes you just can't get good help, but what do you expect from a human? Was that very nice, strange tower thing? Oh, excellent. Yes, shoot that thing. Clan Fear Runt? Have at thee! Oh, well, you know, if it's just the two of us, we could talk. Thank you, Dramora. Alright, well, no toys to play with on the Clan Fear run. Too heavy to throw in the lava. Oh, well, would have been fun, though. Let's see what's over here. Well... Something of a door to a spindle shrine. Roots with an attitude. And another clan fear runt. <clears throat> Alright now, don't get pushy, plant. <clears throat> oh well. Yes, this is... Uh, a bit suboptimal. Let's see if we have anything that can keep us alive for a moment longer. Oh. Thank you, Dramora. Let's see what's another tower. Yes, go ahead. Shoot your tower thing. Well, let's heal up and listen to the comforting churn of the fire-spitting towers, and then see what we can find in the spindle shrine. Just a bit more and a little conservation of mana so that we can bring our Dremora friend out. Wouldn't do to charge in there just with our silver mace. Burden of flesh. As I recall, there's a bit less damage. Just one point. We also have a Sin Weaver in a pinch. But we're being careful not to push our blade skill. So that's a last resort weapon. In we go. Let's see. There we are, Dramora. Badly damaged corpse masher. Well, you know, you do have to take care of your corpse mashers. just a sign of poor maintenance, really. Alright. Out of curiosity, could we loot any of these? I mean, it's not like they need it anymore. Being careful. Alright. I mean, don't want to fall and damage their corpse smasher any further. What kind of guest would I be? And... A steaming bowl of blue... Magicka Essence. Well, presumably that would recharge us. I'm going to... Assume, going to press that space-time key as well. There's a scamp down there. Yes, good luck with that scamp.
Tremora. Can I convince you to? I can. Excellent. There's a scamp down there that needs re-education. Well, I suppose eventually we'll know if we won. Just sort of listen. It's like a radio show. If I, you know, was certain what radio... Oh, there's another Dremora down there as well. I think the scamp... No, scamp is still standing. There you are. Play with another Dremora. I can print all I want. How about you? It's important to be able to reach out and touch your foes. Honestly, I'm surprised that scamp is still standing. There we are. All better. Ah, that's, well, you know, it was good while you were still there and alive. What does this do? Ascension Call. Ah, I see, so if I wanted to go down, but I suspect we want to go up. Where does this go? Oh, well, here, of course. Just in case I needed to be there. Anyway, back inside the blood well. They're not very subtle in their naming, are they? I mean, they could go elaborate. The well of crimson... Or... What do we have here? The cage master. Well, there you are. So long. Good luck. Suppose I should have... Well, he didn't say anything, so I wouldn't assume he was alive to begin with. why you don't let high elves press the buttons. Let's see here. Mythic Dawn Guard. Base ring of detect life. Nice. Fortify fatigue pants. Of course. And two gold. And let's just do this. Just in case. Yes. What is that? All right, well, it's not shooting fireballs at me, so... So there was this, and this did what? This came out here, and... Oh, here, down to these... Dremora will take the Daedra Heart. Weight of guilt. I'm sure we'd be over encumbered, but I am curious. Oh, let's see. Burden of flesh, drain health. Weight of guilt does. Burden. That's all right, you can keep that. Now... Oh, yes. I forgot, the plants are quite touchy-feely, aren't they? Dremora, if you would be so kind.
Thank you. All right, I can look. Nothing. Dremora is gone. Perhaps now we ascend to this tower? No. All right. Then perhaps this one. It's no wonder the maintenance is poor, really. It's almost impossible to find your way around here. Plus, with their indulgent naming system... I can perfectly see the Daedra being confused. Did he say to fix the Corpse Masher or the Corpse Smasher? And was it the one in the blood well, or the well of blood? All right, up we go. Well, someone was special enough to get fire. All right. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sure you're quite something at your whatever skill you're trying to employ. But see, here's the thing. I can just hide behind cover and watch you die. Try to keep him on the platform if you can, just so we can get his toys. Well, that did not work out well. Yeah, perhaps I should help. Just a bit. Poison Daedra Heart. Well, it's got value to it. Now let's see if we can chase his mace down before it goes the entire way. Burden of Sin. And uh, what are you, Burden of Sin? Drain Fatigue. Alright, out of the inventory, up of the tower. Alright, I'm just going to try this. I don't expect it to do much, but since we're not really out of mana. But just in case it was something I should have done. Back into the blood well. But lower. No. Similar, perhaps, but not the same. I think. Yes. All right, well. Yes, this is new, a blood fountain. I have opened a gate. Have I now? Do I know where? Oh, well. Outstanding. I was going to say mine's bigger than yours is, but I would be wrong. Very, very wrong. Alright, it is time to think creatively. Hello. Might not have much charge, but it does quite a bit of damage. Weak potion of frost shield, sure, why not? Cure paralysis, Daedra heart. And fortunately, the Daedroth is gone. Well, now we can 
go to the tower portal. Lovely vat of upward going fire. Alright, let's be on our Dremora. Clan fear runt, hopefully, behind us. And not the fool version. There we are. Scamp skin. You know what? You can hold on to that this time. Let's heal. Swing back to Dramora and then... Swing over here. Just to be on the safe side. gold. Wow, that won't cover repairs, I'm quite sure. Anything else in this room we need to concern ourselves with, aside from the clan fear runt? Alright, let's go back to something a little bit more reasonable. Drain health, well, let's stick with our silver mace. There we are. You can keep your bone, I promise. Healing. Health fountain. Should we need it? Magica. All right, then. I guess the floor attracts electricity. Oh, no, I see. There's a scamp up there. Let's get back to the entrance and head into the rending halls. Back to Dremora, back to stealth. Deploy Dremora because something is already aware of us. Some things are already aware of us. Hello. Ah, yes. There are quite a few of you here, aren't there? Well, um, about that. I'll just be dodging your magic and jumping back to the Flesh Spire. Oh, what a name. I see. Let's, uh... Dremora is still hanging in there. Deploy. And in he goes. Well, this is an entirely new level of combat. But I can't say that I disapprove, considering the forces arrayed against us. In you go. Enjoy. We'll listen from here. Not exciting, but survivable. Give this one another run, and then we'll go in after. See what happens. Well, he seems content to stay. Excellent. Burden of secrecy. Drain agility, 20 points. Potion of night eye, Daedra heart, rage. And here, a plain old Dremora mace. Weak Potion of Night Eye, Daedra Heart, Hindering Touch, and I do find it a bit hard to believe that everyone, yes, I thought so. To me. There we are. Ha! 
Excellent. Weak potion of agility, daedra, heart command, creature, and a seductive charm. As if I needed any help there. All right. And Dramora. Burden of flesh, drain health, base ring of nihilism, resist magic 11%. Daedra heart. All good. Now. Just an alcove. Just a window. All right, up we go. Ascending the flesh spire. Words I did not think I would say today. All right, and back to Dramora. And start the cast, go through. And Dremora is here waiting for us. Let's not take the quick way down, shall we? Ah, I see. Going to be one of those, is it? Door to the dead halls. Well, if they're not dead already, we can certainly work on it. Just need to be a little careful. Help the Dremora. There we are. All right. Well done. Base ring of steel skin, resist paralysis, 20% on self, potion of cure disease, weak potion of feather, which we may need sooner rather than later, another daedra heart, weakness to shock, and presumably another weapon, just a Dremora mace. All right, healing with the eighth page of our spell book. Assuming our sneaky mode. and climbing the tower once more to find ah another way up all right well citadel door hard six lock picks well how lucky do i feel not that lucky well, hmm, we're not going that way. No sense burning the last pick. We need to find goblins and bandits. They're very good at carrying picks. All right, well, that is not a Dremora. While those over there are Actually, three of them. How very we are still in concealment. Well, we were anyway. Hello. Now I don't think we have much choice but to wield Sin Weaver. fall back to another position where we can that's one down two remain all right it would be helpful if you all stopped doing that there we are a bit more manageable now Excellent. Daedra heart. And let's check your toys, Dramora Mace. Nearness of evil. Let's explore the nearness of evil weakness. To fire for 20 seconds on self by 20%. You can keep that. Every once in a while, I think they actually have a good one. Flawless Topaz. Daedra heart. Going to be able to corner the market on Daedra Hearts.
need something different for your sweetheart on a certain day? Try a Daedra heart dipped in chocolate. Or not. Um, is the chocolate supposed to still be beating? Well, that just signifies my unen unending love. All right, let's see here. Where are we, Dremora? There we are. And many pointy places. Yes, your fire does continue up, as shall we. Hello. Goodbye. You can keep your heart. I really wish I could have gotten a look at your weapon, but can't win them all. Out we go to the corridors of dark salvation. Henceforth we shall unquestionably meet seven Dremora. Clan Fear Runt. I really do like Sin Weaver here. What's our armor or skill at? 35. Well, we've got a ways to go before we can repair it ourselves. Little bit of healing, little bit of Dremora, and on we go. Yes, do be so kind. Ah, Dremora, if you would be so kind. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Don't call us, Clan Fear. We'll call you. All right. Healing. And a bit more healing. Now they have one of those towers in here. Someone's always got to bring the scenery inside the home, don't they? All right. Dremora. Two towers. A scamp. And a retreating High Elf. Where we can watch the action from the safety of not being set on fire. Alright. That's good. You both fire. And I will run for the door. The sticky door with Keith. Really, really, you need new maintenance. Don't hit your own... Yes, that was exactly what I was trying to avoid. Hit your own enough and it will hit you back. But they do scream exactly the same way, so it's kind of hard to tell. Dramora Mace. Daedra Heart. Bit of healing. Tell your friend I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit him. You do need to keep on good terms with those who help you. I cannot stress this enough. All right. Off we go. More clan fear. More towers. More Dremora. Oh, yes. Well, tower. Very good shot, I must say. Don't suppose you'd care to hit this clan fear. Come on. Now you got very confused that time, Tower. Now shoot at me now, Tower. Fire. Excellent. You've done well, Tower. All right, Tremora, we need to move or it will do well again. Scam. Where do we go from here? There's a door behind me. Seriously, who did that? There we are. Oh, hello, tower. 
don't mind me. Just going up. Something is up there, has noticed us. I think, well, it's definitely a Dremora of what flavor, I'm not sure. Dodge the frost. Dodge the fire. Better luck next time. Blade skill has increased. Sorry, sorry. Got a little carried away there. Excellent. Oh wait, weapon. Weapon. What was... Dramora Mace. Vanilla flavored. Burden of Sin. I think we've already looked at. Silver Nugget. I would take, but we are very close to our limit. Healing. And again. And then a Dramora. And what is the purpose of this? We've ascended all the way to here just to find doors. Sigillum Sanguis? Sigillum Sanguis? Not sure. And, well, same thing, actually. Ah, yes, well, of course. Who wouldn't want to be here? It's so very... I heard something. Just throw a Dremora in there and we'll see what happens. Or, you know, 20 feet behind me. Whatever works. Well, you did get my Dramora. Congratulations. Here, have another one. Or not. It's alright, I can make more. Come along. There we are. Dr Whoa, don't walk on whatever that is. Does not look structurally sound. Alright. Scam. And a flame Atronach. Come along, Dramora. We're doing so well so far. Excellent. Hello, flame Atronach. Scamp has a gold piece. We are finally up to 1888. A number that has three eights. And not much else to recommend it. But three eighths are good. Hold that. I would really like a forced push spell. Open wide. For more, I'm not entirely sure that's appropriate. Alright, I'm actually quite impressed by this Flame Atronach so far. Is she just normal? Flame Atronach? Oh, so. We can run back and forth all day. It's alright. I just don't want her to explode on me, honestly. It's not that I'm really all that worried about being hit. We can do this, Dremora. Fine. Give her a second. She's going to cook off. She's going to wait for me, isn't she? Well, you know what? I'm going to use that. Then... What is this? The Punished. Base, am base Amulet of Reflection. Reflect spell. 14%. Very nice. 9 gold. We'll grab that. I could stand on that place there, I suppose. Let's press the space-time key. 
Oh no, we did. We came up there. That's nothing exciting. Healing again. Let's go check the other punished. Dagger of Shocking. Well, I'm going to need to shed some weight, but I think I will take that. Absorb health, common soul gem, petty soul gem, two gold. And what can we lose? Well, our armor is completely shattered. As is one of our helms. So, let's... I suppose let's do that. And... Why not? Armor's not really doing, doing anything for us. Well, but the Greaves still may be. I can't resist. Alright. Burden of Flesh 591. Silver Mace. Well, Silver Mace, you've served us well. Hit the bricks. We are moving on. Going a little long today, I know, but who can resist when we're right here with this spinning thing? All right, I'm going to press the space time key and then we can grab whatever this is. Subjacent sigil stone. Someone told me I could uh, manipulate the space-time continuum for these, but... Uh, I don't remember why I... what I would look for. So, can't take me anywhere. Well, the floor does seem to be on fire. And then that happened. Sheathe sword. Walk away coolly. Wait, I put my... I know I put my cool outfit on. Didn't I? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I didn't put it on. I threw it away? But... But... All right. Ah, uh, yes. You see... There's that whole manipulation of the space-time continuum. I will not be losing my incredible garment. How did I manage to throw it down? What was it? Robe of glib tongues or something? Did I put it in the... Of course I did. Well, this is one of those reasons you cannot take me anywhere. And on the plus side, I guess we get to see what we can do with the subjacent sigil stone a second time. What does this one do? I have my clothes. That's what's most important. I'm a high elf of fashion. Absorb endurance, resist disease. It seems like something you would enchant to an item. But I'm not sure. Resist disease, not too shabby either way. Well. Let's. Do that, shall we? All right. But, out of curiosity, this is fortifying our strength. Still works, even though damaged. Good to know. All right. Well, we, we did go a bit long, so I think we shall end our journey here. Having done a thing with some stuff. Not really sure why, but, you know, we did it. All hail Morris, the unintentional hero, I suppose. 
And someone planted their scamp upside down, I think. I think you plant them feet first and they grow faster. Anyway, I will turn it over now to Checkers the Human. Alrighty, folks. I don't usually like to manipulate space-time just for our own good, but there was no way I could let Morris leave without the robe of glib tongues. That's just ever so Morris. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. But anyway, I would like to say thank you for joining us on our journey through Oblivion in Oblivion. I would also like to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe even just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like and share if you so desire. Give Morris some more ground to play on. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please take care.